And now we are showing CT vascular. So in the CT vascular, we have the auto removal of the table, auto bone removal in the body. And if the auto bone removal is not accurate, we can actually edit the bones and label what is bones to the computer. We can even show back what is not the bone. We can have a more accurate. So if we need it in the MIP, just go to the bottom left hand corner, change it to a MIP. And hide the center line. And on the top right hand corner, we can do radial ranges of the MIP. So we can start. In this new series, the new series will come out in all the ranges. And this can be right click and send to packs or to be printed. So in the vascular, we do automatic tracing of the vessels. The runoff right, the runoff left, the right renal artery and the left renal artery. So if more vessels need to be traced. You can choose the semi automatic multiple clicks. Choose two points in the vessels. So you can point it in the 3D. can use the 3D, double click at the end, and we have an automated tracing. If you need to relabel the tracing, just double click on the tracing. You can relabel it to the artery that is being labeled. So if the tracing need to be edited, click on the control point edit and you can extend tracing. Remove the control point. You can also discard center line. When we are done, just press escape and then you, will, you have a tracing of the vena arteries. So in vessel evaluation, you can calculate stenosis measurement, diameter of vessels and also the length of the vessels. So in length of vessels, you can measure the length of the tracing itself. The distance will be shown here. You need a diameter. You can choose at any point. You just need to make sure that the contour is accurate. You need to edit the contour. Just click on edit contour. And make the necessary changes. The measurement for the diameter is provided here. So one is based on the area of the contour, one is based on the parameter itself. And the stenosis measurement, the yellow line is where the stenosis is, and two reference points can be provided to provide 
stenosis measurement. A means stenosis based on area and B means stenosis based on diameter. You can change the properties to just input one reference point or even two reference points. So if you need ranges of the tracing, you can just click on radial CPR. Just determine which degree of steps you want. And we'll start. And a new series will be added here in the results. And you we'll take a snapshot every 30 degrees. If you want to do a parallel CPR over the two points that is being shown here, and so every two mm, a snapshot will be taken. So this is the snapshot of the curve MPR with the transverse cross section. So at the end of every workflow, there's always an MM reading if you require. So this is CT vascular analysis.